Hey everybody, it's Grayson from iMark Interactive. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the new Yoast SEO update 14.4. Um, this update has uh, something kind of nice for those that have to do uh, affiliate links or need to do no follow or sponsored links in their content. So before um, you had to do this with a little HTML uh, trickery when you would be in the in the code editor and, and kind of change some links that way. Uh, there were some plugins, but in Gutenberg, they didn't really work. Uh, there was a good plugin called Editor's Kit that that did provide this ability, and that's still a great plugin because it adds some functionality. But Yoast has finally come out with some toggle switches for making this quite easy. Uh, normally, I don't think that using a plugin is a great way to do this, but since most people already have Yoast SEO on their site, and uh, I have tested and verified that if you use this in links and Yoast goes away, aka you disable Yoast or move away from it, the HTML that you put in your links stays in your links. So this is a good thing. Um, there were some plugins back in the day that if you disabled all the no follow uh, code would disappear, which was bad. Um, so this works like it should. I will say in testing this today, it is a little buggy. Um, it does work, but it is a little buggy. Now, I know Yoast uh, typically comes out with several updates after they do a big update uh, to fix bugs. So hopefully they'll get this fixed. But let's jump in real quick to see how this works. Uh, I'm just going to go to post real quick. I already did a, a Yoast test post uh, to make life easy. So I'm going to just say here is a new link. I'm going to hover over what I want to link, and I'm going to link to our free WordPress course. So you will see now in the tab, there's open and new tab. There's also no follow toggle, and there's sponsored. So they each have little check boxes that go to Yoast um, to tell you what the no follow are. So Google several months ago came out and said, hey, stop using no follow for affiliate links, paid links, uh, and paid links, I mean like sponsorships um, and stuff like that. You shouldn't be buying links on other people's sites. Don't do that. Uh, before you use no follow for all those, Google has changed that to sponsored because they kind of want to get a under, better understanding of what links are uh, affiliate and, and sponsored and what you just don't want to pass the link juice to. Now, nofollow still has its place. Uh, Google has said, which I'm not 100% agreeance with, but if you used, uh, if you do guest posts on your site from other people, you should nofollow the links to the other people's site. I don't really like that, uh, but that's what they say. Um, basically, if you don't want to, if you do, if you don't want Google to directly pass. Uh, link juice as they call it over to the site uh, you use no follow now uh, i would imagine with the new sponsor that google's probably going to come out and say hey um we still look at the no follow and you know like they still could be good links but they just don't get the equity that they would normally get if it's a regular link so here nor there uh you can learn all about that on google's webmaster blog if you want to look in deeper than that so uh the caveat here is that um there's always been a really big debate on if opening your links, external links in a new tab is good or bad. Uh, on desktop, I think it's uh, good, but you can't do that on desktop and mobile. When you do it on mobile, it opens up a new tab and basically ends up just filling up the pe uh, person's browser with multiple tabs. And it's very hard to get back uh, to where you were before. So uh, just be cognizant of really how that works on mobile. Um, I still open up... Uh, external links often with um, in a new tab, especially it's really great on desktop uh, because they can keep their place where they are. But, you know, it's really personal preference. I, I don't think there's really any SEO benefit in any of it uh, between one or the other. It's really just how you like to set up for your user experience. So if I wanted to open up this in a new tab, I'd toggle this. Um, if I wanted to no follow it, I would do this, but since this is an affiliate link, I want to do sponsor. But watch what happens when I do sponsored. Yoast automatically also does the nofollow, and here's why they do that. 
Google is the only one currently that understands and uses sponsored. Now, usually when Google does something, other search engines follow, uh, Bing, Yandex, uh, Brave, DuckDuckGo, that kind of thing. So right now, uh, what Yoast does is they throw in no follow as well at top of sponsor. Now, this doesn't hurt you in any way. This is just an extra tag, and it's perfectly fine that it does that. But just be cognizant that when you, you might be confused on when you toggle sponsored, it toggles both. And you can't untoggle no follow by itself. See how it does both? Um, but you can untoggle sponsored and no follow will stay. So I think in general, they need to clean this up just a little bit. But so let's say I'm going to hit sponsored and then we're going to submit it. So here's a new link. So what we do is when we hit update, we're going to view the post. And this is just a test site that we use and play around with with different themes. I'm going to inspect it. And you can see right here, uh, since it opens up in a new tab, it's got the no refer, no, no opener, sponsored, no follow. So that is there. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to deactivate Yoast. Okay. I'm going to purge my cache real quick. Then I'm going to go back into my posts and I am going to view this. So that is now gone. We're going to look at it one more time and you can see that that information is still there. So it doesn't get stripped. Uh, it doesn't get stripped when it goes, when Yoast goes away. So this is good. This is what you want. If you use this and later Yoast decides to pull that functionality out or they decide or, or you decide to switch to a different plugin, this information is still going to be in there. So this is good. Um, let's go back in and re-enable Yoast. And where I found the bugs, it's really just kind of like the editing experience. Uh, if you're back in here and you just want to click on it, um, Sometimes it does that. So you try to turn it off and you click on it and it is off. And you come back and it comes back on. You know, like it just jumps around every time you click it. So now all of these are turned off. If I want to turn it back on, it does that. So it, the box doesn't stay up. And this is a pretty vanilla uh, WordPress install that doesn't have many plugins. It's just really, we were just testing some stuff. So I don't really think it's a plugin issue. Uh, I think that really this needs to be probably cleaned up on how... Um, these are, are messed with. Now, basically, I mean, that's really it. I mean, it's really that simple now. Like before, if you wanted to do something, we would say, hey, go here, go edit HTML, come in here and go no follow, sponsored. Or if you could put it on the front, it's just got to go inside this tag area right here, this relation. So this is how we used to tell you to do it. But now you don't really need to do that anymore. If you have Yoast, you can just toggle this. Now, if you want to see it, there it is. It's all right there. So this kind of makes it, uh, makes it much easier for you to deal with uh, sponsored uh, tags inside of links. So uh, this is a really nice uh, new feature for Yoast. Um, it's been one that's been a long time coming and a lot of people have been asking for. So... If you are on Yoast 14.4 um, and above, you should have this feature now in your editor. If you guys have any questions or have any thoughts on some new videos, please let us know at imarkinteractive.com.